also today. In the NFL, Jerry Glanville was a quirky, controversial success. We gotta have a deuce, we gotta have a county. Now he's back in the game. Let's go field dog rainbow, can you do it? Taking his southern fried style to Portland State. Here, you're managing the bus. You have to get off the bus, fix the flat tire, and get it rolling. Today on Outside the Lines, oh, Jerry wait. Glanville's back in black in Portland. In February, Portland State Athletic Director Terry Mariani got a call from an old friend, former Portland State football coach Mouse Davis. Davis told her that Jerry Glanville, the man who'd memorably coached the NFL's Oilers and Falcons, wanted to be her new head football coach. Mariani thought Davis was joking, but soon enough she and Glanville were at dinner and she was spelling out the terms of his contract on the tablecloth. After the meal, Mariani tore the tablecloth in half, and today she and Glanville each keep their halves of that initial contract in their desks. Colleen Dominguez now on Jerry Glanville's first days as a college head coach. Single one, we gotta have a deuce, we gotta have a county, we gotta have a Ripper Liz call. It could change. Rainbow, lasso, both sides. There's a new language class being taught this spring at Portland State University. Deuce, jump the bubble if you're a man bubble. Can we play single one? Or do we have to go home? It's a crash course in defensive dialect being taught by Jerry Glanville, first time college head coach. You're going the wrong way, come on. We heard he was coming, everyone was all excited. I had no clue who he was. You're on that slot, he motions over. I told the players the first time I met him, you'll hear all kinds of stories about your new head coach. You'll hear all kinds of things. I don't care if he runs over that fence, you got him all the way. Yes, sir. Finally, eventually, I caved in and looked him up, found out some stuff about him, looked at pictures, really, just to see how funny he looked. Glanville is the former head coach of the Houston Oilers and Atlanta Falcons. For years, he has dressed only in black. In the NFL, his mercurial ways meant long days for referees and provoked fellow coaches. Guys coming over, jumping people like that are going to get your ass in front Just know that. He became an NFL broadcaster. He drove stock cars and pickups and had his own racing team. He's a music fanatic, always ready to break into song. And once at a preseason game in Memphis, he left tickets for Elvis long after the king had supposedly died. You don't want to take yourself very serious. What you want to do is take your job real serious. The next time you two guys are late, your ass isn't practicing the whole day. And this ain't up for a vote. You ain't got a vote. Hit, hit. During practice, the 65-year-old Glanville seems to be everywhere at once. You got slot out that side. Calling plays, teaching technique, and correcting mistakes, but only on defense. Offense belongs to Mouse.